Oh, yeah. Well, there were four, plus the dog, uh, <laughs> the various dogs. So it's quite a trip to 22 hours each way. Uh, so um, we used to do a lot of uh, also uh, on travel. We got into audio books when you had um, when you had a, a four year old and a six year old who we would get to the end of our driveway and they would say, are we there yet? Uh, you know, you, you, you had to come up with something else. So we did the wind in the willows and Swiss family and uh, Robinson Crusoe and. After that, I got into the uh, commute, my commute between from Goochland to Richmond. I got into doing books on tape, and it was a just a wonderful, ex, a wonderful release to be able to read and drive at the same time. That's pretty good. Um, but at the cabin, yes, we would go out there and we would uh, just be a group of four, and uh, people would say, "Well, what do you do there?" He said, well, we, uh, you know, gosh, we, uh, you know, we shoot and we canoe and we swim and uh, you fish. Yeah, we fish. Right. So what else do you do? Well, we read books and we sit around campfires at night and talk. Yeah, but w w when the kids are in bed, what, what do you and Ginny do? I said, well, you don't get it. That's what we do. So. Well, I will say, I think the rest of the story is sitting behind me right here. Uh, you know, oh, the rest uh, of the story is a very <laughs> important part of the story. Yeah. Uh, and and, and the logistics of doing all that, I can't, I can't imagine it. It's, uh, it must have taken quite a lot of preparation. Well, uh, she's, to, she's been wonderful in, in, uh, throughout my life, and particularly during, during the cabin years when you know, she would go up there with these primitive, uh, in these primitive conditions, and uh, she did very well. <laughs>